Okay, here we are with the uh, first draft of TC Magic. What do we got here? We got a Titanic Ultimatum, which is a fun card. We have Agni Warp. Uh, we got some Blightning action. And Grixis Charm. And a Magma Spray. Pretty much everything else I don't think are playables. Personally, I love Agni Warp. It's an easy two for one. Um, we're going to be sending the signal for red, maybe some blue, uh, maybe even some Grixis. I think I'm going to take the Agni Warp. Okay. We have Oblivion Ring and Seaside Citadel. I think maybe Resounding Silence are the uh, picks here. Oblivion Ring gets rid of anything, really. They can have anything on the board and you can get rid of it. On the other hand, Seaside Citadel fixes my mana. I can play my Oblivion Ring. But there's a lot of fixing. And not many Oblivion Rings. So, Oblivion Ring it is. Sometimes I get greedy. So it looks like we're going Esper right now. We got Bone Splitters. Maybe a Glaze Fiend, but we're not going to pick the Glaze Fiend that high because it may table. And we're going to keep shipping some Naya to my left. And that's good. I hope my uh, left plays Naya or even Grixis. Maybe I can take that. Well, CIP Tap Land uh, or Tri Land is just so much better than a Panorama. So I'm going to take the bone splinters here. Alright, so now you got their exuberant fire stoker, or as I like to call him, the fire stroker. And even a ridge ran it. Do I want to change the color scheme? Okay, never had that before. I think a bunch of these. It's either between with the deck we're playing, Call to Heal, and Dread Skate Zombies. I like tricks, but I don't have any dudes yet. I need some solid dudes. You get so many solid dudes in a lot of reborn, so I'm going to go with the trick. I can get full value of my guy, maybe two for one. I love two for one. Alright, so. Someone is playing Naya. I'm going to be thinking about the sorry ambusher. He's probably going to take that to my left. Um, I could take the Bamp Hammer and a Panorama. Excuse me. Um, Blister Beetle is good. You can get rid of like the Fiend Stinger or things like that. Or Death Raiders. It works pretty good with Bone Splitters. He's just a solid dude. Another blister beetle. We got a squire we can pick up. <laughs> or drag reaver. Personally, I don't like drag reaver. He's a solid dude. You know, not really solid. He's four three for five mana, and that's not very good. Could take the bam panorama. Island. We already have one blister beetle. We could get another one. Or the squire. Uh, I think we may need some fixing. Flames Island, yeah. Wow. There is a screecher, which is really good, and another bone spawners. 
I have one bone splinters. The screechers just saw do flying winds games. So I'm gonna take the screecher here over the bone splinters. I need a couple more dudes. Some solid dudes. And my bam panorama gets me some blue. So I'll be able to play them. Alright. Psychor, Joan Panorama, a rare. And of course, Cloud Heath Drake, which is what we're gonna take. Alright, we got Obelisk of Esper, which may be good. On the other hand, we also got this Mel Urgent here. And even if you don't really have another artifact, he can, you know, stop a dude. Because you can just block and then regenerate it. That hand's pretty good. I like this guy. He's won me games before, but definitely not going to play him. Wow. That is a very late Seaside Citadel. Definitely not going to argue against that. See, I told you Glaze Fiend would come back. You didn't believe me. You could also take the Silencers. Not seeing very many artifacts, but Glaze Fiend, if you can get them, is very good in drive. Cyclor Dude. <laughs> you can get Imperial Archangel. I don't think anybody's going to be playing that, so I'm going to take a swamp here. Angel Song. Wow. That may uh, 